Hey everyone, my name is Ru, and we are here. This is going to be week number eight, I believe, of the APAD League, and this is going to be a really interesting matchup. I feel like I say that every week, but um, this was a particularly difficult matchup for me. I'm not too too sure how I snack up against this team, but um, we are trying to go four and zero with this particular draft until uh, we will have a next a whole new team next draft. We do see the guy with Angela, Lycan Rock, uh, Drampum, Swampert, Mega Venusaur, and Victini. So right off the bat, no Sylveon. No Sylveon is really bananas to me. Um, no Skarmory. No Skarmory is genuinely pretty wild. Um, I thought Dust Noir could be a huge, huge pain. So could Skuntank. But we don't see them. What is his removal? Actually, uh, Defog on Drampa, I think is everything. But he's probably going to try to set up webs. That's going to be unfortunate, but I'm going to try to set up webs as well. Let me think this through here. I really... Hmm. I don't know what I want to lead off with. A part of me does think that he's going to lead off with a Swampert. Maybe as a kind of semi-counter lead to my Dawn fan. Now, my Dawn fan does have Seed Bomb, which I would really love to go for in this situation. And I think that might be the play. I could also lead off with the Araquanid. I think, ultimately, the Dawn fan is the better lead. Now that said, I, just in general, I very rarely click Rock's turn one, so he might expect me to want to do that, but, uh, I don't think I would do that, um, unless there's some crazy lead-off situation, but I'd be surprised if I did, um, regardless, I did not take a screenshot of the team, but, uh, I'm gonna pull up the bottom screen here so that I have something to work off of, although I do really prefer... Quite a bit to have both of our teams side by side. It does lead off the Swampert. So I expect him to want to get a Brox straight away. And that's going to open up the door for me to Seed Bomb here. And it will allow me to figure out what kind of a Swampert this is looking to be. But I think regardless, I really just want to click Seed Bomb. It does go for a Toxic turn one. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. We should take a Scald okay. But regardless, this should be a reasonably strong Seed Bomb. Yeah, that's that's looking to be max defense right there, which is fine. You might not want to take another one, which really honestly makes me want to go for Stealth Rock right now. And I think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to click Stealth Rocks right now. Um... It does withdraw. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes into the um, Venusaur here. It does go into the Venusaur. Okay, that's totally fine, as I do get the rocks up. So I think what that's going to allow me to do... What is that going to allow me to do? Um, well, it certainly breaks my sturdy, so I think, if nothing else, if you really wanted to get that out of this exchange... Part of me does want to go into my Necrozma straight away. But I'm not sure that's the ideal play. I could also attempt to go into my my Houndoom, but I think it's a mm. honestly my Houndoom is feeling a little bit expendable at this point. My Houndoom is feeling a little bit expendable at this point, and if anything is going to get sleep powder right now. Um, but it, even then, it's more or less just to get some kind of damage onto this Venusaur early on and to um, potentially eat a Sleep Powder if he does end up going for the Sleep Powder. I would much prefer this get put to sleep than anything else on my team. And it does put a decent amount of pressure. At that point, his only real switch in would be the Drampa. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I could rock out with that. I'm going to go directly into the Sound Doom. And it is unfortunate. Part of me did uh, want to play this Houndoom to kind of be like a perfect counter to the to the dual stab of the Victini. Um, but obviously, I have to not Mega Evolve for that to be the case. And uh, I'm glad I, I'm definitely glad I didn't go into Necrozma to eat up that Toxic. But uh, for right now, for right now, um, I think this just lets me get some damage off. 
Which I think is all that I really want out of this exchange. And because I don't really have to worry about clicking Fire Blast, I could probably get almost as much damage off of a Dark Pulse. No, Fire Blast actually does significantly more, like significant enough more damage that I think Fire Blast is worth it here. And I think I'm just going to click Fire Blast, actually. But uh, as soon as we Mega Evolve, we will lose our Flash Fire. So we do lose that kind of um, perfect check to the Victini. Uh, at least the Victini stabs, but that's going to have to be what it is at this point. Like I said, um, I don't think I mind giving up the Houndoom for damage onto this Venusaur. I think worst case scenario, this would allow my Necrozma to come in uh, and scare away the... That's... That's pretty spicy. I, I will not lie about that. That is pretty darn spicy. But I'm going to click Dark Pulse here because he might switch out right now. Uh, and who knows? I might, I might get a flinch. But uh, whatever. Regardless. Okay, he does not this. That's fine. What I think this allows me to do is I think this allows me to go into my... My... Necrozma and potentially scare this thing out. And that'll potentially allow me to get a... A... And autonomize off. And at that point, I am a I'm a modest uh life orb necrozma. And my objective here is just to get as much damage as I possibly can on the rest of his team. Uh we'll see and probably going for a toxic, I would have have to imagine. But we do become nimble. And my Necrozma is going to pretty much be able to take this thing out. Uh, it would have to be super max special defense. But regardless, Photon Geyser just uh, does what I needed to do in this situation. Goes out into... That uh, has to be the... Yeah, it has to be this thing. But... This is going to be a very strong Photon Geyser that I have to imagine two hit KOs. Yeah, that is a lot of damage to be doing right now. Um, potentially Custat Berry? Custat Berry? Um, I feel like I have to click Earth Power here, right? Yeah, so he lets this thing go down. So, that should be all of his, um, removal for the match, but Life Orb and Toxic are gonna take its toll, but, um, this thing was never really intended to be, like, my main, like, um, BDE kind of sweeper at the end of the match. I have a lot of other options to be able to kind of take on his team, but, uh, this mon at some point was meant I, I have a few mons that are meant to like put dents on his team and kind of and kind of open the door for other mons on my team for later in the match so whatever he wants to bring in here is going to take a very decent amount uh he could try to bring in the lichen rock to try and excel rock me but um well if anything i get one more hit off and then he comes in for the excel rock because i think after that life four plus toxic uh, is going to put me well into excel rock range and uh, I just have to deal with, deal with that. Uh, Galvantula might be a good play for him, but I do have a Heat Wave. He doesn't know that yet, but even then, I mean, I do a whole lot of damage to a Galvantula. Um, he could be... I, w I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Galvantula is um, Focus Ash, but at that point, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he is running down the clock to make me think that whatever he brings in is not going to be focused at oh wait no it doesn't matter because of the uh stealth rocks that i set up so yeah whatever comes in i think yeah i think everything anything that wants to come in would be um weakened enough through stealth rocks that i can potentially claim a ko between um just the moves that i've gone for so far yeah this makes the most sense as kind of his um his easiest kind of um, sack, I guess, in this situation, but 
this will mean that I think he he has no other options to get rocks up. Oh, Lycanroc, I guess, but Lycanroc deals with my team offensively so well that I don't think he would want to really make that play in this situation, I don't think. And now I'm going to be for sure in Excel Rock range, and I don't see any reason why Lycanroc would not have Excel Rock. So, for sure the, the Lycanroc's going to come in here. For sure, for sure. And this is an interesting position because, in all honesty, I kinda, this thing might be worth saving just to get one final hit off on the Venusaur. And even if the Venusaur does switch out, getting one final Photon Geyser off on his team would be pretty interesting to me. Although, I don't switch into, into this Lycanroc terribly well, so I'm looking at my options now. Um, I really don't have the best Lycanroc switches in at all. It would be pretty interesting for me to try to go into... Um, Terrakion, just because I for sure know he's going to Excel Rock right now. Lycanroc does. Against a Terrakion. What if I give this thing Drill Run? If I give this thing Drill Run... Oh, Drill Run for sure takes out Terrakion. But what if I forced the draw run play and went into Togekiss? That would be super risky. That would be no, but then I don't have any counterplay after that, so I can't do that. No, that's a bad play. Um, if I let this thing go down, then it does allow me to go into my Dawn Fan for free, and then um, I can try to scare this thing out through a Dawn Fan. That's that would have to be a double play, a double switch play. Um, yeah, I let this thing go down. I think I have to. As much as I don't want to, this Lycanroc um, legitimately just does too much damage to my team. Like, legitimately just straight up does too much damage to my team. So, I am in a position where I have to let this thing go down. I have to bring in the Dawn Fan. And then I probably have to double here. I probably have to double here. Uh, he's going to for sure want to bring in the Venusaur. Which I think lets me bring in... It probably lets me bring in my Togekiss. I'm gonna do that. Does withdraw. And that is the Venusaur. So here's the thing, Venusaur, not Venusaur, um, Togekiss actually potentially gets up a nasty plot right now. But it also invites in the Galvantula. I really wanted to be able to sweep with this thing under sticky webs. That was my kind of plan for this match. I can click flamethrower, right? Expecting the Galvantula to want to come in. What if I did that? Against Galvantula. Oh man, if this Galvantula is no bulk, Air Slash on its own, after webs, potentially takes that out. That's kind of wild to me. That's kind of wild to me. Although, Flamethrower is guaranteed at this point, but... I don't know. Is there even a reason to risk it? Air Slash is so free at this point. He also potentially goes into the Lycanroc here. Um, that would be unfortunate, but at that point... Going between Flamethrower or um, Air Slash is irrelevant. So, I'll just hit the Air Slash. Um, I would be super curious... I mean, first of all, I'm super curious to see how much damage this does. We do take that thing out. Probably brings the Lycanroc back in. And I still don't have the best ways of dealing with that. Lycanroc for sure potentially still beats me. I think, I still think that I'm in a position where I have to. Um. Oh man, this is going to be a play and a half right now. Does he try and get up webs right now? Or does he just attack what's... He knows that I've been aggressively playing into my Dawn Fan. He knows that I've been super aggressively playing into my Dawn Fan. I do not take a Thunder. Well, if it's Life Orb, I don't take a Thunder. If it's... If it's no boosting item, if it's like Focus Ash, then I actually take a Thunder, which is kind of bananas. But I do. If it's, if it's max special attack timid, 
I think I have to risk him trying to get up webs. I'm going to click Air Slash. Goes for a Thunder. Can we take this? Is, is this thing life warped and can we take this? Alright, is, is it life warped? It is life warped. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I just go into Terrakion here. I think I just go into Terrakion here. I don't think I, I think I, I don't think I win this match. I don't think I ever really win this match. Yeah, I think I lose this match because I'm never going to get the opportunity to get a webs. Yeah. This thing being life orb actually wins in the game, I think. And now that I know that this thing is life orbed, uh, do I even take a hit with Terrakion? I do. I should take a hit with Terrakion. Um, although I haven't even seen, I haven't even seen damage from Giga Drain. Uh, oh yeah. So we should take. We should potentially take any hit from this thing. And I'm just gonna try to hit Z Stone Edge. We're just gonna see whatever that does. Oh, and we win a speed tie. Um, if we're both max speed, we potentially speed tie. But I just made this thing max speed to not even try to mess around with any type of or rolls or anything like that. So that winning this tie actually puts me in a really interesting position. That puts me in a really interesting position. But now he can see that I'm Rock Z. He can see that I'm Rock Z. If the Victini is scarfed, then it would come in right now. But this thing comes in instead. This thing can draw run me. This thing can draw run me, and I think it has to draw run me, right? I think it has to draw run me. I don't think he has any other path to victory other than clicking Drill Run. And the thing is, I don't take a Drill Run. Um, I could potentially ag aggressively switch into... I could potentially aggressively switch into Victini... Or, sorry, uh, aggressively switch into Don Fan now, and then... Aggressively switch back into into uh, Araquanid. I almost think that would have to be my play. Uh, the fact that I switch out before him probably means that uh, he didn't. He's he's staying in here to go for the Zen headbutt. And I think... Hmm. No, I think now I just stay in an EQ. I think now... I think now he's out of resources enough where he can just stay in an EQ. I'm gonna click Earthquake. If he switches out, he switches out, but... I'm gonna click Earthquake. Because, unfortunately, I will... let be letting this toxic damage chip me down, but... If he does switch into the Victini, then I potentially do enough damage to this thing. I potentially do enough damage to the Victini after rocks, where I'm in a position to potentially win it. Does withdraw? Let me get um. If this Victini is no is no bulk, then this is a KO. And I'm pretty sure even if it's like max HP, then I still I still have okay. Um I cannot imagine a move that this Lycanroc can go for that can take out my Dawn fan in one hit. So I potentially just click Earthquake and uh win the match. If I don't, if he if he does take me out, then I think he wins. I think he wins the match straight up. 
But uh, there is really no other move for me to make. There really is no other move for me to make. I have to click Earthquake right now, and we either win this match or we lose this match. Goes for the Zen Head, but we've seen how much damage that does. We should uh, take that. Yeah, we take it fine. We don't get flinched, and uh, that Earthquake should seal up the match. Um, He could have absolutely beaten me with his Lycanroc, but um, we somehow... Uh, Played it very carefully. I, th I really do think that we that this was one of the more uh, careful matches that we played so far, and um, we ended up winning the match. We do end up going four and zero with this second draft, and uh, we will have the final draft. We will have our final four weeks with our final draft, and um, from there we will uh, try to do what we can in playoffs. With that this will put us at six and two, I believe, um, which is kind of wild, but uh, we are. Trying to do our thing right now. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gonna be really interesting to see how well I can put together a team of um, my previous drafts. Should we make playoffs? But that's gonna come whenever it comes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more weeks of the MPL, with the final draft of the APA, and uh, a couple of projects that are coming up really, really soon that are really, really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll be once again out.